The properties for the web object are very simple. The first important thing to note is that the object does not show a preview at design time, so you need to preview your project by pressing F5 to see your web object in action. Okay, let's double click on our web object. The first thing you'll notice is that in the actions panel here, there's these two tabs, on navigate and on loaded, instead of the usual mouse event. On navigate is the event that occurs when your web browser object goes to navigate to a URL. On loaded is the event that occurs when that URL is finished loading in the web browser object. You can use the string URL or the variable EURL rather, E underscore URL, to refer to the value of the URL in each of these events. In other words, the string EURL will contain the value of the URL being navigated to in the on navigate event, and in the on loaded event, it will refer to the URL that was just loaded into the web browser object. Okay? In the Attributes tab, you'll notice that you're given the same options as usual to size and position your object numerically. As well, you can toggle the Enabled and Visible state here and name your object. So these are the usual things that we've come to expect for all the objects. And in the Settings tab, you'll notice that there's only one setting now. You can navigate to an HTML file here by browsing for a file by clicking on this icon here. And that can be within your system or your gallery or your project as usual or you can just type a web address directly here into the URL bar. In our case, that's what we're doing. We've typed in the Google address here in Canada. Okay, So we'll press OK. So those are the web browser object properties. Very, very simple stuff. And if you take a look at the properties pane, it's uh, short, a lot shorter than usual. And you've just got these very few properties that you can control for the web browser object. However, the real power of the web browser object comes in that you can control all these attributes dynamically at runtime and you can make it interact with any other object or series of objects. So let's go ahead and take a look at the web browser object actions.